The Badger and the Magic Fan by Tony Johnston and Tommy DePaola. A Japanese folktale. Tengu are the goblins of Japan, and you can spot them in a minute because they have very long noses. Once, three little Tengu children were playing with a magic fan. They laughed and giggled all the time, for when they fanned with one side of the fan, their noses grew longer still. When they fanned with the other side, they shrank right back again, back and forth, long and short. What a fine time they're having. A badger happened along and watched the children play. Ho ho, he thought, how I would love such a fan. Then he thought of a way to get it. Now the badgers of Japan can turn themselves into anything they want to be. So he turned himself into a little girl. Then he took a plate of bean jam buns and skipped straight up to the Tengu children. Hello, little Tengu children, said the badger in disguise. You may have these bean jam buns if I can play with you. The Tengu children loved bean jam buns, but there were four bean jam buns and only three little Tengu children. So of course they began to argue over the extra bun. The tricky badger said, let's do this. Close your eyes tightly and hold your breath. Whoever keeps his eyes closed and holds his breath the longest gets the extra bean jam bun. What a good idea. The Tengu children decided to do just that, for they loved bean jam buns. They took a deep breath, they shut their eyes tight, and when they did, the wicked badger grabbed the magic fan and ran away laughing. Then he changed himself back into a badger and headed toward the city, laughing all the time. On the way, he came to a temple. Inside sat a beautiful girl dressed in fine clothes. Her father was as rich as rich can be. Ho ho, thought the badger. Now I will have some fun. He sneaked up behind the girl. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. And fanned her nose with the magic fan and bzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
In despair, he cried, I will give my daughter and half of my riches to anyone who can make her nose short again. Oh, thought the badger, here is my chance. He hurried straight to the girl's father. I shrink noses, he said. With that, he took out the magic fan and fanned her nose, and bzzzt, it was short again. The girl's father was so delighted, he prepared the wedding feast at once. The badger was so delighted to get a fine and rich wife, he ate and ate and ate at the feast. Then he got very sleepy. So he lay down, dozed off, and began to snore loudly. Now, all this time, the Tengu children had been searching for that wicked badger to get back their magic fan. They looked in every house, every temple, every palace of Japan. And with great luck, at the very moment the badger began to snore, the little Tengu children peeked into the rich man's house and saw the badger sleeping there. So tiptoe, 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 they crept up on silent little Tengu feet, took their magic fan, and began fanning his nose with it. Oh, did it grow! The Tengu children just smiled and kept fanning. The badger kept snoring. His nose kept growing. Soon it grew right through the ceiling. It grew up and up till it poked right through the clouds. Now, just then, far above the clouds, some heavenly workers were building a bridge across the sky. Look, they shouted when they saw the badger's nose poke through the clouds. That pole is the perfect size for our bridge. Let's hoist it up. So they tugged on the badger's nose, and my, didn't that wake him up. Ouch, 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 help, 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 screamed the badger. He would have fanned his nose to shrink it again, but the Tengu children have kept their magic fan. Ho, up we go, the heaven workers chanted. The badger yelled, yeah, 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 yeah. And no one ever saw him again, for they pulled that badger right into the sky. The end.